Eadlin. Our next speaker will be Mr. Douglas Wayne. Douglas Wayne, welcome Mr. Wayne. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for having me, Ms. Porter. Can I begin? Yeah. Uh, first of all, it's an honor to be here with the um, same night that Dr. Banerjee was here. He's one of my mentors. And um, so I learned quite a lot from him, and uh, we gave him an award, too. Uh, my name is Douglas Wayne. I'm with the nonprofit 501c3 public charity called the Youth Alert. Our real name is War Against Violence Corporation. We're a Kentucky Corp. We're actually headquartered in Lexington. Uh, but our registered address and our registered office is here in Louisville, off Hubbard's 26th uh, district. Um, we've been, um, we've had Youth Alert events here. These are live public events that geared towards violence prevention and health. And we've had a um, wonderful experience. We had uh, Akron Burton speak at one of our events, Dan Mullins, it was incredible. And now we're working with uh, the most wonderful Donna Benton at Practical Living in the Curriculum and uh, others with Jackie Westman, another great guy. You have tremendous personnel. And uh, we bring this youth violence prevention program into the schools, into your schools. We did about 25 years middle and high schools this last year. It's actually the third year of our program. The first time we're going into the schools we normally did like court designated workers or justice or, um, and first of all, let me say, I mean, it's not a bad kid in your school and it's not a bad school. I mean, it was just wonderful. Every experience is great. So we bring in this three day, three hour program that's in the health class. It's according to national health education standards. We go down to CC, CDC in Atlanta, make sure everything's in line. And we do this and it's all in line with the um, program review, you know, so 80% need uh, schools need uh, improvement in, practical living. So we have, I think it's 20 impact areas for practical living and actually 20 impact areas for writing too. So it could boost a school's report card. But we fit in the health department, I mean in the health classes. And if they don't have a health class, we go into the uh, PE and we give them this three hour, three day um, presentation of violence prevention slash health. I say slash health because we believe in our slogan is we want to protect the whole youth and nothing but the youth. So um, one third is what we call shadow violence or indirect violence, which is car accidents, uh, drug abuse and poverty and all sorts of things. So we covered everything. You know, how we got involved in this is we, you know, we're interested in closing the achievement gap too. And so, but we're, 99% of all violence happens outside of school jurisdiction. Only 1% does. That's why Sandy Hook and Combine are such big deals. So we're trying to close the peace gap with minorities, stuff that happens before they show up to school. So then teachers can be better equipped to close the achievement gap. Anyway, we're working with a lot of different partners here and we have a proposal there. We're hoping you might be able to fund some of our programs. We're hoping to hit 25,000 kids uh, in your system or in, in the area and we did about 3,000 before and I just want to stop by and introduce ourselves. Thanks. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Our next speaker 